Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Grim here. So I know I promised a Black Moon Cancer deck profile, and I did film that, but unfortunately, I ran into some trouble because I ended up dueling a Mystic Mind player, and that duel was tedious. And because I am I'm a nice man, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through Mystic Mind. So instead, I got for you guys these two Bakugan, Pyrocycloid and Aqua Centipede. I'm gonna come the boy. And I got I just picked these up at my local chapters. They were ten dollars a piece, and I'm gonna crack these open and you'll see, I'll explain why I specifically picked these two up. So let's get to and crack this open. And here we have Cycloid and Centipede out of the packaging. So you, you can see right here. Look at all these, you can see the amount of detail sculpted in the face right here. The eye. They did print the attribute symbol right here. Focus that. <coughs> then you have the B power printed here. And obviously you have the arrow. Um, the transformation on cores should be pretty easy. I mean... You just, this is my first time transforming, so you just bend the head, the arms, both arms down, bend the head, swing the body, and there you go. Cycloid all transformed into a ball. And it comes with a Baku, import Baku gear in these hexagons. Um, so now Cycloid comes with these two, the following back and forth. Plus 150 and Pyrus Darkest plus 400. That's pretty useful. <coughs> and here's Centipod. Now the packaging. Pretty nice detail if, you, if I do say so myself. Obviously, these are mechanized versions. And so transform him, Centipod. To transform centipod, you gotta bend the head. You do the body first, and then you bend the head. So hard doing on camera. So I'm gonna do the tail first. Head in. And that's it. That's centipod, and centipod comes with a blue fist. And a regular shield backboard. Damn, these are stuck together. And this one is plus 550. This one is Ventus and Aquas plus 400. And now to go to the character cards. They, oh, oh, they also come with gate trainers. Nice of Spin Master to include these and not jack the price up. Anyway, Cycloid gets his 300 B. And, and deal 7 damage, and Centipod does six, has 600 B and would deal 3 damage. What would have been nice if Centipod had um, B power increasing cores? Anyway, the reason why I bought these is because. Uh, there we go. We have. The legacy versions right here. Pyrus Cycloid from Battle Brawlers and Aqua Centipoid. Now, in the original Battle Brawlers series, Cycloid was Subterra and, and was owned by Billy, who was a rival of Brawler Julie. <coughs> but since Arlos doesn't exist, they turned they made Cyclops a Pyrus back So I'm gonna put these two. Do the feet. Well, oh, it's super cold right now outside from where I live. I'm just like freezing. Here we go. Battle Brawler Cycloid meet Battle Planet Armor Alliance Cycloid. This looks nothing like Cycloid from the original show, just saying. 
they just took the name Cyclone and gave it to a new guy. And then we have Centipod with his Battle Brawler counterpart. Uh, Centipoid. Now you can see that they are pretty similar. The tail. Like, I'm pretty sure they stole the uh, tail. This design is mostly based on this one. Like, you can see that the tails. You just flip the tail, but here, um, you have to flip, you only have to flip the head and the tail. But in this version, they added the extra step of requiring you to fold half the body and then fold the tail. I mean, this is, this is pretty nostalgic for all you Battle Brawlers fans out there. I know I am. And... I did have a request from one of my subscribers to give you guys my opinion on the training card game. That video will come after the Blackwing Cancer deck profile. I just gotta find some time to do it because I have exams and I have work. And so I, and I kind of felt guilty not giving you guys a video. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, before I go, I will I'm gonna do one last comparison for you guys. Here is both Pyrocycloids next to Battle Brawler's rival, Battle Brawler Cycloids rival, Subterra Hammergorum. And here they are with our Team Legacy's the Legacy Brawler's mascot, Angelo and Diablo. And don't forget, I did not forget. Aqua Sprayus with the centipods. And here they are next to Subterra Cordum and Subterra Diablo, so you guys can get an idea as to how um, Subterra Bacalon look like if you've never seen Subterra Bacalon. Right here. It's a little hard to do right now, but. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't usually ask you guys to like and subscribe because I don't. I only do this for fun. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, so I'm gonna get the grim signing out.